What's up everybody, it's your host Gaming Bud, and today we are finally back with some more Clash of Clans gameplay. I know it's been a while, but here we are. We are on my lower account, it's Town Hall 8, my higher one of course being Town Hall 9. But anyways, we are going to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some attacks with this attack strategy. That's uh, not necessarily new, but that I've been using recently. Uh, giants, uh, Barbarians, and Archers, you could call this like Jibarch, you know, giants, barbarians, archers. So, uh, we'll, let's go ahead and, and uh, go into some attacks and see what we can find. We're looking for a lot of everything, a lot of gold, a lot of elixir, a lot of dark elixir. So, uh, we have got two builders that we can use today, so hopefully we can upgrade two gold mines, and with that last builder, because uh, I have three builders and I always save one to upgrade walls with, um, with that last we upgrade as many walls as possible. So, still looking for a base. Um, you know, this one has a decent amount of elixir, but not enough gold. It also had a pretty good amount of dark elixir. But, a lot of it was in the, uh, in the storages. If we can find a base that has all of the loot in the collectors, like this one, it would be very helpful. So, if you look at the collectors, like this elixir pump right here, it's full of elixir. So, all of the elixir is going to be in all these collectors. And not... If you look at the storages, they're completely empty. So, I'll go ahead and place an archer right there, one right there, one right here. I'll put two or three right here on that elixir storage, that's a high health building, and right here. I'm gonna put a bunch of archers right there, and just see how much elixir I get from that one elixir pump. So I'll go ahead, I'll come in from this, uh, from this bottom side right here, put my giants down, and I'll go ahead and place my king as well. And, uh, my giants can break through. I can go ahead and put down a line of barbarians right here. And then after that, I'll go ahead and place down my archers to back them up. Put some around here. And I do have three lightning spells and one earthquake spell. I can use those to clean up afterwards, hopefully. Or maybe take out a defense or two, uh, during the actual attack. So, all my troops are down. A barbarian king is going in. I'll go ahead and, and pop his ability so we can hopefully take out that wizard tower. And I think we're good for right now. We might need to take out this mortar right here. But we'll go ahead and wait and see. Yeah, I want to go ahead and take that out. Hopefully we'll be able to take out one of those cannons as well. Almost. So we've got one elixir spell left. Or one lightning spell left. And we can save that lightning spell for that elixir clicker right there. And we'll go ahead and see what my king does. And some more giants over here. Uh, no, that last giant just died, actually. So we might be able to get this town hall if the archers can uh, take care of it quick enough. There we are, we got that two star. Alright. So then these archers should die, and I'll go ahead and place my earthquake spell right here. I used to bring a poison, but I really don't use poisons very much, like, you know, because there's not a lot of clan castle troops that I see. So I just bring the Earthquake spell to hopefully do a little bit of extra damage before I place down the Lightning spell. Because I can only hold three Lightning spells. So that'll be it, and coming away from the attack, I got 260,000 gold, 300,000 elixir, and a very unimpressive 255 dark elixir. But it's okay, we got a lot of gold and elixir. We got a star bonus as well. We have one more army. We can go ahead and train that, that last one up. But this uh, next army is ready to go. And we can go look for another base to hit. So we are now four minutes into the video. If you are still watching, I appreciate you. You're awesome. So this one has a good amount of dark elixir. But not enough gold or elixir. This one also has a good amount of dark elixir. Not enough gold or elixir. And I'll also look for a base that has most of the Dark Elixir in the, uh, in the Dark Elixir Collectors. Because it's a lot easier to grab if it's not in the storages. Alright, still haven't- oh, here we are, here we are, okay. So, Victoria, once again, does not have very much Dark Elixir, but if you look at these Elixir Pumps, they're very full. And if you look at that little box right next to the, uh, the gold mine, that box is filled with gold. So, that the, uh, that the gold mine is also has most of the loot in it. And once again, check out those storages. There is nothing in there. 
So let's go ahead and place down these giants right here. It's kind of around the base. Get those defenses targeted on the giants and then we can start surrounding the base with our barbarians. Here we are, we're gonna, we've are we already started to get a lot of that loot. We still haven't even placed down all of our archers. It's great. It's, it's literally such an easy strategy to do. Um, it's, it's very easy to perform. Not difficult at all. So we have that one gold mine right there. If my archers don't get it, then we can also place down those lightning spells on it. We've also grabbed the one star, so I'm not going to lose any trophies. And I'm not too worried about trophies. If I lose a few attacks, that's okay, but I don't want to drop in trophies too much, so it's good that we didn't lose this one. And so there's about 48,000 gold left, and most of that is probably in this uh, gold mine right here. So I'll go ahead and place this earthquake spell on it. And then one spell. And I don't think I'm gonna use another one. I think that'll be enough. All right, so even less Dark Elixir this time at 96 Dark Elixir, but we got a lot of gold, 289,000 gold and 268,000 Elixir. So that's really solid right there. That, that, that's a good amount of uh, gold and Elixir. Uh, I, I mean, getting Dark Elixir is good, but I didn't necessarily need it because, you know, I'm not doing any Dark Elixir upgrades today. So let's go ahead and go into my progress base. If you do not know what my progress base is, it basically has all of the upgraded things that don't need to be upgraded anymore for Town Hall 8 on this uh, this left hand side or northern side and then on the southern side you have all the things that still need to be upgraded and by the end of uh, my you know Town Hall 8 by the time I'm done with Town Hall 8 all the buildings will be on this side because I will have maxed everything out so, uh, what I'm doing, I've got most of my elixir upgrades out here. And that's because I'm getting like uh, all those el elixir upgrades done first, and then I'll start focusing on the defenses and the traps. So I've got two gold mines left. I upgrade that right there. That's a one day upgrade. And another one day upgrade. I'll put these gold mines over here. And as you can see, I've, got, I've also got two elixir collectors uh, being upgraded right now. So, in one day, all of my uh, elixir collectors and gold mines and dark elixir drills will all be upgraded. So now, I have got 2,800,000 gold, plus whatever's in my That's another 700,000. So I can upgrade a lot of walls. Getting these walls up to level 8 is really important. And uh, I, I remind you that these walls used to be 500,000 gold to upgrade. But now they are only 250,000 gold. That's awesome. So, upgrade a lot of these. Another one. I'll go ahead and just take out right here and right here. And upgrade all. And I can probably do a few more. One, two, I'll, I'll just put four. That's one million, and there we go. All of my gold has been spent. So that's that's a lot more walls now. If uh, let's go ahead and go to this base right here. I don't use this very much. Edit layout, remove all. I've got seventy-four level eight walls and one hundred and fifty-one level seven walls. Um, so yeah, one hundred fifty-one more walls left before all of them are maxed out. So cancel. Go back to my regular base, and there we have it. That has. Uh, been the entire let's play uh, the entire episode I guess So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been a nine minute episode So if you're still hanging around, I appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching uh, and it's Memorial Day, too. So uh, uh, Respect to our veterans. That's awesome. All right, I'll see y'all later